Hi, we're back. Um, so here we are with this image that we started to uh, do the blend with. And now I'm going to enlarge this area so that I can get in there close. I can bring it up to 100% and expand this a little bit. I'll move these palettes over. I still um, have my brush tool open. And I want to get this up towards the edge here of the area that I want to blend. And I'm going to reduce my brush size. And I'm also, not yet, I will reduce my capa opacity in a second here. But I just want to brush in here, not, being careful not to get too close to the edge. Okay, you can see here. And I'm just going to follow around in this area, background area, and brush in. I can hit my space bar and drag around and I'm clicking and dragging and releasing to, to brush this in. You can still see that I have to do work on the edge but I'll do that um, soon here when I get done with this. I'll reduce the opacity and drag around in that area. And so what we're painting black onto the mask and we're revealing what's underneath. So now I'm going to bring my opacity down to 21% and if I work in this area. I'm still revealing, um, but I'm not darkening the woodwork too much. And uh, I'm trying to reduce this area in here so that it looks more natural and uh, not like a halo. And uh, so I'm clicking and dragging, painting and releasing all along this area here. You can see that I just darkened a little bit in there, but that's fine. Okay. We're coming down here. Almost done. And then I'm going to go 100%. Actually, not 100% because you can't see in my capture area. So, looks pretty good. Um, I might want to go in there again and refine it a little bit more, but for, for now that's pretty good. I could also go down here in this area. I'm going to increase my brush size a little bit. And um, I'm also going to reduce my opacity down to about 13. And I'm just going to drag across this area here. See, it darkens. I just wanted to create a bit of a gradation there. And uh, so I think we're looking pretty good. Um, you see we have great detail in here, illuminating this um, great wall, the painting, um, and then the background has really nice detail in it. And uh, you know, after I get done with this image, I would probably flatten it and straighten these lines here. We can do that in another segment. Um, I could have done this when I shot it, making sure that the camera was perfectly level and so forth, but I used to worry about that and, and use um, I would use uh, PC lenses with my, my camera, but uh, with Photoshop we don't have to worry about that too much anymore. So let me show you this image surrounded by black. Reduce a little bit, and uh, there it is. What do you think? I like it, and uh, it's a fun technique. Thanks a lot.